We've seen how the signal gets from the microphone into the mic pre of our interface. But before that signal can get to the, your DAW, your digital audio workstation, we have to go through one really important conversion. And we'll talk briefly about it here and then get more in depth into it uh, next week. And this is the analog to digital conversion process. The computer, in its essence, really can only understand uh, numbers, ones and zeros, what we call binary data. And the signal coming out of the microphone is an analog signal, continually variable. It can't be described as individual numbers, but it's kind of a continuum. And when that sound pressure gets converted to voltage, it's still a continuous or analog signal. And we have to convert that signal to digital inside the interface. So the interface is our microphone preamp, and it's also our analog to digital converter. Now this process of analog to digital conversion is also known as quantization or as sampling. And the term sampling gets used in a wide variety of ways uh, in digital audio. We can think of a hip hop artist that's sampling a piece of music and using it in their own in their own piece. And this is a different it's a different concept than that, but in a way it's the same, in that when you're sampling a piece of music in a hip hop context, you're taking a small piece of audio and kind of using it in a new way. And sampling in this context, in this digital to analog conversion process, is taking a very small piece of audio. In fact, the smallest piece of audio. In fact, we're sampling or measuring so many times, it's over 40,000 individual pieces of audio per second. Each one of those samples, it's so small it really is considered a measurement. And in a way we're measuring repeatedly this continuous signal so that we can represent it as a stream of ones and zeros or as a stream of numbers. And that's the only way the computer can understand it. Now again, you probably have some questions about this process. It's kind of mysterious, and many of the terms that we, that we use when we set up a project are kind of based on this. You'll see things like bit depth, or word length, and sampling frequency. And they're important concepts, and we'll get, them, we'll get into them in more depth next week. For now, just accept that it's analog to digital conversion, and again, we'll talk about it next week.